Hello, welcome back and happy new year. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my abs in two weeks challenge inspired by the new year and everyone's resolutions to be healthier, exercise more, and get fit. I know it's hard to stay motivated and stick to your fitness goals after setting them in the new year, so I wanted to share this video as an extra little boost of motivation and reminder that exercising even just a little bit every day will add up by the end of the year. When I ask my friends what their workout routine looks like, a lot of them, especially the guys, say that they actually don't focus on the core as much as other parts of the body. But having a strong core is so beneficial to improving your posture, increasing balance and stability on a day-to-day, -day, and even reducing lower back pain. Not that we're quite that old yet. For this challenge, I'll be doing Alexis Ren's ab workout every single day for the next two weeks, recording myself each day to share my progress. There's so many great ab workouts out there, but this is one that I've loved doing throughout college, COVID, and even in the past years, and I keep coming back to it because it is just so good. Stay tuned to see my ab results at the end of the challenge. Now let's get into the workout. Good morning, today is day one of the challenge. I'm very excited, so I'm gonna go ahead quickly and show you guys the before. So this is before. I'm just wearing a sports bra. I'm very squishy now. Very squishy. about 27. I'm gonna see what this challenge does for me. No breaks. I used to do that ab workout like every single day in college and it was so easy but now I'm like literally like three minutes in and I was panting out of breath oh gosh well that's day one you saw how hard I struggled hopefully day two and the rest of the days will be better Day two done. That honestly felt better than yesterday, but my abs were already killing because of yesterday's workout and I'm just not used to doing back-to-back -back abs. So yeah, day two complete. Stay tuned for day three.
Okay, that was day three. <sighs> wow, I'm really sweating today. One thing I noticed is that whenever I get to the spider climbs, that last move, my shoulders are so sore. It's not even my abs. My shoulders just kill so much I can't do it. But we'll see if that gets stronger over the week. Good morning, today is day six of the challenge and I decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison with day one. Oh my gosh, look at how bent my legs are. Even though it's only been six days, you can tell that my core is so much stronger, I'm so much more stable and I don't need to take as many breaks. My plank form improved a lot, thank goodness, that looked horrendous. And I'm just generally able to keep going with the workout without needing to pause and rest in between. My shoulders were super weak at the beginning of this challenge and you can see how I had to take breaks in between my plank twists and spider climbs, but on day six, I did not have to take any breaks. So really proud of myself for that and hopefully my shoulders will get even stronger by the end of this challenge. Here's a quick progress check. There isn't too much of a difference, but maybe a little flattening of the stomach. Anyways, that's day six. I just finished today's workout. I actually did yesterday's at nighttime, so it felt like a really back-to-back. -back. I really didn't want to do it this morning, but we did it. On to the next day. do a quick little progress check I'm kind of curious myself to see if any ab definition is showing
our last day of abs for these two weeks and now I'm going to show you guys the results see if any of my measurements changed we're at about 27 I'm very squishy now And that marks the end of my two weeks of doing abs every single day. I know two weeks isn't that long, but I've already noticed so much improvement, both mentally and physically, since day one. Not only did my stomach flatten and become more toned, as my core got stronger, my stability and balance improved, and my entire body started to feel more in sync. For example, I like to boulder, and I've noticed that I'm able to hold myself closer to the wall for longer periods of time, allowing myself to climb overhangs in the cave much more easily. Even my energy levels first thing in the morning are so much higher than before since my body is now accustomed to exercising right when I wake up. So now, two weeks and stronger abs later, I can confidently say to you that a little exercise and a little movement every day makes all the difference. And once you find your rhythm, you won't go back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.